How's it going folks? I'm Des with Des Fitness. I've been testing out the Garmin Enduro over the last few weeks for my in-depth review that's coming out soon. I've come across some interesting results in regards to battery life. Garmin has made some pretty big claims in regards to the battery life with the Enduro, which basically makes it the current king in terms of how long you can track an outdoor activity. So how those battery claims hold up? Well, we're gonna find out in this video. Now, if you're a longtime subscriber to the channel, you know that I didn't do just one test. I did lots of different tests with lots of different scenarios like with and without solar using the wrist-based optical heart rate sensor as as well as pairing it up with an external heart rate strap. And just for kicks, I even threw in another external sensor in the flavor of a cycling power meter just to see how that would affect battery life. I'm lucky enough to live in Colorado where the sunshine here is pretty amazing. So it's a great place to see how the solar charging capabilities really fare in real life scenarios. And this video is all about battery life, but you will be seeing all the tests that I'll be referring to in this video in my final review where I'll be going over GPS accuracy, heart rate accuracy, as well as the altimeter accuracy. So make sure to subscribe to get a notification when that video comes out. And if you do find this video useful or informative, make sure to hit that like button down below as it definitely helps the channel a lot and I appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, other than charging it to full when I first took it out of the box about two and a half weeks ago, I've been able to do over 20 hours of GPS activities, over 15 hours of indoor activities, and I still have over 30% of the battery remaining. So I'm pretty sure I can get through the rest of my tests without having to charge it again. So just to give you a rundown, the only thing I did outside of stock settings is change the data recording rate to every second rather than using smart recording as that gives the best GPS accuracy and doesn't have much, if at all, an impact on battery life. I left the stock display settings with 20% brightness with a 15 second timeout, which I found to be perfectly fine. And I'll be using the DC Rainmaker Analyzer tool to analyze the battery burn rates in all of these tests as it gives a really detailed look at the battery usage and potential battery life. So we're first going to start out with some outdoor activities using the wrist-based optical heart rate sensor without any solar exposure. So basically I had the Enduro underneath a jacket and Garmin claims in this sort of scenario that you should be able to get up to 70 hours of recording. So here's a half day of skiing where I had the Enduro under my jacket for nearly the entire day out. As you can see, it didn't get much, if any, sun that day other than me peeking at the watch a handful of times. And it pretty much nailed Garmin's estimate of 70 hours. And then here's a bike ride that I did where, same deal, I had the Endura under my sleeve and there wasn't any sun and we can see very similar results. So Garmin's claim of 70 hours with GPS recording without any solar exposure is pretty spot on, but how about with solar? So on this ride, it wasn't necessarily getting full solar exposure the entire ride, but it was pretty decent sun for the most part. But even with just partial solar exposure, the battery life improved quite a bit and it had a burn rate that could potentially get over 80 hours of GPS recording. Again, this is with using the wrist-based optical heart rate sensor. This next ride, I was getting quite a bit of sun and we can see here that it actually exceeded Garmin's claim of 80 hours of GPS recording time with the proper solar conditions. And just to note, I also had the Enduro paired with a power meter on this ride, but was still using the wrist-based optical heart rate sensor. So just like Garmin's estimate of battery life without solar exposure, Garmin's estimate of battery life with solar seems to be pretty spot on. However, there's a way to get even more battery life out of the Enduro with full-blown recording accuracy. And I'm not talking about using the, any of the ultra track modes or power manager modes or anything like that. And that's gonna be with using an external heart rate strap, which disables the wrist-based optical heart rate sensor. So again, we'll start out with an activity that did not have any solar exposure, but using the Enduro paired with an external heart rate strap. And what we can see is that it gets just slightly better battery life than using the wrist-based optical heart rate sensor. However, when we added some sun, it only was using a little over 1% of the battery per hour, which translates into a potential 90 hours of GPS battery life. And here's another test with solar exposure where I paired the Enduro up with an external heart rate strap as well as a pair of power meter pedals. And these were very similar results. And I think the reason that's even more in this test case is because I did have a ton of sun on this ride. So what we can see is that pairing an external heart rate strap with the Enduro, which disables the onboard wrist-based optical heart rate sensor will actually get you even more battery life. And then pairing an additional sensor even beyond that doesn't seem to have any effect at all. And for indoor workouts, by the way, well, it barely uses any battery life at all, even while using the wrist-based optical heart rate sensor. So it appears that Garmin did do something different with the Enduro, and it's not just a Phoenix 6X Pro Solar without the maps and music. Obviously, your mileage will vary depending on your location and how much solar exposure that you get, but I hope this video sheds some light, get it, on the potential battery life that you could get out of the Enduro. But how does it perform for the GPS, heart rate, as well as the altimeter accuracy? Well, all those results are coming up at the in-depth review that's coming out really soon, so make sure to subscribe to get a notification when that video comes out. And if you liked the video or found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button down below. In the meantime, have fun out there and we will see you in the next video.